guys what's up welcome back to another vlog currently nine o'clock in the morning on wednesday and chad and i are about to just get our workout done this morning so that way i can be productive the rest of the day because i have a lot to do today for school i have my third chem exam tomorrow so we're going to be studying a lot today i'm wearing this white cropped tank top that's actually from amazon and then the lululemon energy long line sports bra my leggings are just the black align leggings in 25 inches and then i'm wearing my adidas cloud foam sneakers so here's the workout that we are doing today instead of doing this in rounds like we typically do we're gonna do 25 mins and wrap which is as many rounds as possible so 30 bent over dumbbell rows 10 squat oblique crunches 20 walking dumbbell lunges 12 high plank toe taps a 200 meter run which is like up and down our street and then 12 sit-ups and just as many times as possible over the course of 25 minutes with no rest and i will probably track this as cross training yes so this is cross training uh, on my Apple Watch, because I always get asked, like, what I track, and it depends on the workout. So we finished our workout, and I'm making a couple scrambled eggs for breakfast, and I'm still tracking my food, been doing really good. We are on day three of tracking food this week. So two scrambled eggs is 140 calories, and then this bread is 70 calories, so I'm going to have a piece of toast with no butter or anything, and my breakfast in total will be 200 calories, plus my coffee from this morning. And I'm not showing my face on camera right now because I have never sweat so bad in my life. 86 degrees outside and I got so sweaty. So my face will not be shown. Tracking my scrambled eggs and my toast, and here's what they look like. Breaks my heart to not have a little bit of butter on my toast. Normally I always do, but good changes here. I'm also having some of my mango chunks. I did a poll on Instagram stories asking if you guys wanted me to do a little study with me in today's vlog because I have to study for my chemistry exam either way so I thought I would do like a full-blown study with me and uh, just like if you guys wanted to see it and the results are in and it looks like you guys want me to do it I'm gonna try to get like really in-depth with uh, how I cover the material and everything like that but before that I want to show you guys a very exciting package that I got in this week and it's some more glasses um, I wear glasses like every single day of my life now I've been slowly weaning myself back into contacts but most days I am wearing glasses so I'm super excited to be partnering with glasses USA on today's video I worked with them a while back and I absolutely love their brand their website has tons of glasses to choose from and they make it super super easy so if you didn't already know glasses Glasses USA has over 6,000 styles to choose from, including in-house brands, as well as designer brands like Ray-Ban, Gucci, Armani, and so many more. And I also want to throw it out there for those of you guys that don't have vision problems and have 20-20 vision, like you are so lucky. But if you're still interested in wearing glasses for fashion purposes, then you should totally check out their blue light blocking glasses. You can get any of the frames on their website with blue light blocking lenses. So if you do have 20-20 vision, it's still a perk to have blue light blocking glasses. Blue light blocking glasses are designed specifically to block the harmful blue light that comes from screens so we're all looking at our phones and computers like all the time so if you haven't already got on the blue light blocking glasses trend you can do it at glasses usa and you can get any of the frames that i have with blue light blocking so that way you're protecting your eyes it's a completely risk-free experience they offer free shipping and returns and 100 money back guarantee they want to make sure that you get glasses that you like and that you're comfortable in by cutting out the middleman glasses usa offers prescription glasses of up to 70 percent off retail prices so now you can shop for prescription and non-prescription eyewear online at affordable prices. 
without leaving your home. So this first pair is called the Weston Frames. I love the color of them. They're like this really pale brown color and they are the lightest weight glasses ever. It feels like I'm not holding anything at all. And I love that the sides have this gold detail. And I will link all of the glasses I picked out in the description box if you guys wanna check them out. This next pair are the Elliott Frames. I always wanted a pair of brow line frames and I decided to go with the tortoise because I feel like every pair of glasses looks better on me in tortoise print versus just plain black. And they're like super, super like bright gold, which I love because I always wear gold jewelry and I just feel like it matches it perfectly. I love them, prescription spot on. These are so cute. The last pair I picked out are Ray-Bans. I have just an obsession with sunglasses and so I'm always buying a new pair of sunglasses. I saw these hexagon shaped frames on Pinterest and I really wanted them. So when I found out they were available at Glasses USA, I just had to get them. They're so cute and trendy. You can get these in your prescription without your prescription. It's totally up to you. I am just obsessed with these frames. So I want to thank Glasses USA again for sponsoring today's video. I think one of my number one questions that I always get asked is what glasses I'm wearing and they're literally always from Glasses USA. You guys can save 65% off your first pair by going to the link in the description. And thanks again Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. Chat is making me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch because we don't really have anything else and i had chipotle for dinner last night and i didn't really think about the fact that i wasn't gonna have leftovers for lunch so pb and j it is chad makes the best pb and j's i was going to get started on my homework like right away but chad and i decided we would go throw some gas in my car and run into costco really quick so we're at costco right now and doop. pumping my gas for me he's such a gentleman i never ever pump my own gas because chad always pumps it for me I would totally do it myself, but he just insists. I got these little mini granola bites at Costco because they look like a really yummy snack. So they have the chocolate chip ones and then mixed berry ones. And they're organic, plus only 110 calories per pouch. So it'll be super easy to scan into my fitness pal. So I'm tracking everything right now. I'm like, this is a perfect little treat tonight when I want something sweet. So we are back home now and I just grabbed an orange. I'm gonna eat this in my office and I'm gonna get started on my studying because we are running out of time. Proud of myself, I am on top of my water game today. I have everything I need to prepare for exam three right here. I have organized this the entire semester for each exam like in one of these clear things and basically I've just printed out the review which goes over the concepts for each chapter that are on that exam as well as the equations sheet that he gives us and a periodic table. And then of course the practice exam and an answer key. So I'll show you guys how I will break this down to kind of cover everything. This exam covers chapters 17 and 18. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just read over the chapters. I already did this over the past week as we went through the PowerPoints and stuff, but I always like to read through and just pull out the key points and kind of align it with his PowerPoint that we go over during the lectures. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna review all of our assets and bases. And, and there's some important formulas in here and then there's some good examples as well. So I'm just gonna go through this, give myself a good understanding of chapter 17 and go from there. And today's study playlist is Chill Instrumental Beats on Spotify. I just finished reading over chapter 17. Here is some of the notes that I did this past week just about assets and bases, just like some really simple notes. I read through those and now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with chapter 18.
just finished doing a practice problem on calculating the pH in a buffer solution. I actually feel pretty good about it, and that's a big part of chapter 18. So that is good. I'm not finished yet, but I wanted to take a second to show you guys this Apple Pencil cover that I got. I found this on Amazon. I'll link it below. Don't mind my chipped nail. It's just chipped in. I have not gone to get it fixed yet, but it's really nice because it makes your Apple Pencil like have this like grip at the bottom and I feel like the little bit of added thickness just makes it so much easier to write with and it still works like on the magnet on the side of your iPad, so it's pretty nice. most of chapter 18 and I did a bunch of practice problems and some of them are the board problems he uploads these like board problems which are so nice for the chapters um basically you can go to any of the chapters and the board problems are what he does during class time but there's always like a bunch of extra ones that he doesn't get to so you can just practice them on your own so I use some of those as well as some of the stuff in the book and now I'm just going through the powerpoint and just making sure that I don't miss anything because sometimes like in red or bolded there's like things that are really helpful and the titration stuff oh my gosh that's a whole nother thing but luckily I have some notes from Melissa Maribel so I think I'm gonna take a little break and then we'll get back into it and do titration I was craving another coffee but in effort to reduce my caffeine intake I decided to have a kombucha and this one is one that I've never had before it's by the brand mother kombucha in the flavor lavender mojito and i swear to you guys this tastes so good not super vinegary like a lot of kombuchas are so that's why i really like this one it's lavender mint and lime it tastes so good it's got a sephora package in the mail so i figured for my little break from studying we would do an unboxing a little haul if you will i actually just stocked up on a bunch of stuff that i needed anyway so the first thing is my everyday foundation that I love. I've been using this forever now. It's the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I love this foundation so much, but the only annoying thing about it is when you buy it, you always have to buy a pump separately. So I've just been using the same pump and cleaning it, but the first time that you ever try this foundation, like it doesn't come with a pump, so you have to buy one. And it's like $10 more, it's so annoying. And the next thing is my NARS Climax Mascara. This is also another thing that I've been using forever and I just need to get another one. And then the liquid eyeliner that I've been obsessed with, I think this is my third time buying it now, is the Fenty Beauty Liquid Eyeliner. I was using the Kat Von D one for a while, then I was using the Stila one, then I was using the Sephora brand one, which I actually wasn't impressed with. Normally I love Sephora brand products, but not their liquid eyeliner. But this one, I really like. It's very, very thin and precise, and you can make it as thick as you want. And the one that I currently have isn't even out yet, and I've been using it forever. I just wanted to get one because I know that like it's gotta be running out soon. And then I got the Chocolate Salil Matte Bronzer by Too Faced. This is a new thing for me. I've never tried this one before actually that's a lie i may have tried it in like a sample or something but for whatever reason i wanted to switch it up right now i use the hula bronzer oh my gosh this smells so good look how pretty it smells amazing i just wanted to switch it up no real reason i love the hula one but i've been using it forever and i just had the desire to try a new one so i decided to go with this one i got another tube of the ultra repair cream from first aid beauty because this is like my go-to i love to mix this with the isle of paradise tanning drops this is the perfect moisturizer for that i don't know why but when you mix it together it just evenly coats your face and then your tan so i really like this one for that reason and it's also just a really good everyday moisturizer i got a new brush and the box is very crunched up i decided to get the sephora pro bronzer brush this is the number 80. i just really wanted to get a new bronzer brush to go with the new bronzer that i got and the current one that i have i feel like is too fluffy to make your bronzer more 
defined I guess because like I don't wear bronzer to contour I wear bronzer to make my face look tan so I wanted to get one that was like a little bit more defined mine's like really fluffy so that I could like I don't know carve out my cheekbones a little bit more or something I got another body wash for whenever I run out of like the bum bum cream brand body wash that I currently have in my shower and I just got this melon daiquiri one I feel like it was on sale and that's why I got it oh it would help if I removed the little tab I'm not gonna be able to smell it Holy cow, that smells amazing. The last thing I got was an eyeshadow palette. This was not a necessary purchase. If you guys watch my office tour, you know, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. I probably have all the colors that are in this eyeshadow palette, but I just really wanted to get this one. Every box is like damaged in this package. I love the Tartlet palettes. I have both of the other ones and I had my eye on this one for a while, but I just like kind of felt like it was unnecessary. And then I started running out of like the main colors I use in the original Tartlet palette. So I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and finally get the toasted one. Whoa, the little thing came off. Just like perfect everyday colors. These are the kind of colors that I like to use whenever I do my eyeshadow. So I figured why not? So there is one other thing in that package, but it's for a giveaway that I am doing soon. And I'm so excited. I just want to tell you guys so bad. I'm probably going to tell you guys the big news in tomorrow's vlog, I think. But it has something to do with the giveaway. And one of those items in that giveaway is from Sephora. So stay tuned for that. My break is very much over. So we're going to go ahead and get started with titrations. I'm going to read through her notes and then take some of my own. I like to take parts of her notes and put them into mine. But if you guys have not checked out her notes yet and you're in chemistry, I highly recommend it. They are so, so helpful. I credit her for a lot of the information that I'm able to find in her notes versus having to spend so much time in my book. She makes it super easy. It's very condensed. Here's everything that are in the titration notes. And she gives you all of your key terms and lots of examples, explains it all very thoroughly. So I will link these in the description if you guys want to check them out. dinner now we're having farrow bowls which i feel like i've shown you guys um how we make that more than once but i'm eating some late july chips i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here because the rest of my night is basically eating dinner then i'm gonna shower and exfoliate i think i'm gonna self tan tonight because i haven't self tanned in a while and i'm looking pretty pale and it's probably gonna be kind of a late night for me but i really want to just focus on the practice exams since my chem exam is tomorrow but i want to thank glasses usa again for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check out the glasses that i got in the description box and if you're not already subscribed be sure to click that subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video